can I share something with you all? Perhaps a month or a little bit more than a month. Let's say a month. A month ago, something happened to me where I was emotionally hurt. I am not going to say <laughs> what it is, but I was really emotionally hurt, which does not happen too often. Where I get to that point. So when I got emotionally hurt, like, I was feeling really depressed. This happened last month, I believe. From that time until like a month or around there, I was, I say from that time last month, because it happened last month and I was feeling a bit down and depressed for maybe a week, a week or two, around there. And when I first got hurt, like, the thing I like doing, I like to clear my mind because I don't really like to think about bad things you know, when you are feeling down, it's like <laughs> you don't really feel like doing anything. Like you don't really get any pleasure from doing the things that you usually like. So I would just lay down and just stare at my ceiling or at the wall or something like that, just trying to clear my mind. And... Like I said, I was feeling really down and depressed. And every so often, or more and more, I started to relive it or think about past thoughts and stuff like that. I believe that incident happened for a reason, in order so I can tell you all about this. So I began to think about those thoughts over and over and over again and wishing that things would have turned out a different way and stuff like that. And I was really feeling awful, like to the point where, like, like I said, I did not want to feel or I did not feel like doing anything like I just wanted to stay home and stare into space pretty much and you know not really wanting to talk to anyone just feel down really and give me a second please and some people called me and asked me to do certain things for them. I would do it, but like my mind was still focused on what happened last month. And like I said, I was feeling that way for a couple of weeks or so. And some things happened to where this is why I am saying I believe it was God that allowed it to happen to uh, teach me about what happens to people when they are really depressed. You know, I always knew how it feels to be depressed and stuff like that, but I have not been depressed in quite a while until that month. So I believe it happened so I can relate more with people who go through this every day. So while I was feeling down, I kept on thinking about what happened and I continued to replay it over and over and over in my mind, trying to figure out what really happened. And to be honest with you, the more that I thought about it, 
the more depressed I got. And I was asking God why and stuff like that. And for a certain time period, I was really angry at God. I'm serious. Like, God, why would you do this? Or why did you blah, blah, blah? Why did you boom, boom, boom? I'm serious. I was getting angry with God. I was. So what did I learn from this experience? Oh, yes. Let me say this. Now, when I got hurt, yes, this is very important. I started to think like, hey, since I got hurt, let me separate from everyone. Let me not allow anyone to get close to me ever again. Because if I allow more people to get close to me, perhaps they will hurt me too. That is what came to my mind. Like, don't get close to anyone else because there is a large potential that they are going to hurt you. That is what came to my mind. If you were to do that, that would hurt you more than getting hurt by a potential person. Because when you separate yourself from people, when you are down and depressed and stuff like that, we have to understand that demons speak to our thoughts. If demons can get you alone, away from people who can help you and stuff like that, demons can place anything in your mind and make you think whatever. And if they get into your thoughts and you accept the thoughts, they can control your actions. Next thing you know it, you are right back into sin doing all the stuff that you used to do. And what was going through my mind as well, hey, since you got hurt, Kevin, what you should do is go out and hurt people too. But it's a good thing that <laughs> I seek God so much. So when those demonic thoughts were coming to me, I'm like, no. That is crazy. No. But what if this is happening to people who don't know much about God? They are going to be more accepting of those thoughts. So what am I trying to say? In order to get over your depression or whatever bad that happened to you back in the past, you, you have to take your thoughts off of that issue. Give me a second, please. You have to take your thoughts off of that issue. You have to, you can't. Now, I like to be alone as well, you know, but you can't separate yourself from everyone. That is not good. I am not saying that you have to be friends with everyone, no, because some people are really evil that are really trying to hurt people. But what I am trying to say, it is not good for you to separate yourself from everyone, because if you do, the state that you are in is going to become worse. I'm telling you. You say that you are separating yourself from people because you don't want to get hurt, but by doing that, you are hurting yourself more. Demons want that. The more influence, the more people that they can separate you from, especially people who know about God, the better it is going to be for the demons to play with your mind. I pray that this makes sense. So what I learned from that experience, from getting hurt, and like I said, I believe it all happened so God could teach me to teach you because some things you can't teach unless you've been through it. 
like in some things, not everything, but in some things, you have to be able to relate with other people who are going through it as well. Like I said, for those two weeks or however long it was, I was really down, like really depressed, shockingly depressed, crazy. I don't think I have been that depressed Perhaps the last time I was that down, I would have to say like 10 years ago or 11 years ago. I'm serious. And being down is not a good feeling at all, man. It is consuming, very. Like it really takes over you which is not good at all because if anything takes over you things are going to get a lot worse for you so what i am trying to say if you are going through something take your mind off of it well it is not that easy kevin if you want to change please listen to what i am saying Take your mind off of it. Stop separating yourself from everyone. I am not saying to just give yourself to everyone in the whole world. No, because <laughs> there are really bad people out there. Stop thinking negative thoughts. Think about positive thoughts. So I pray that this makes sense. I know how it feels to be down, to be depressed, because I was feeling that way last month, big time. So I pray that this makes sense. God bless.